Good morning, YouTube. Um, I just check out the story from your your Black World about a girl um named Sadira Davis from Chicago. Uh, she was been missing for a while until they discover her body. Um, uh, were mutilated, and basically, um, they found organs missing. So I want you to check out this video, and I'm gonna tell you, and I'm gonna give you my commentary. Greetings and salutations. I'm Christopher Platt, reporting for Your Black World News with an article from NewsOne.com. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and visit TheBlackBusinessSchool.com to learn about financial literacy and how you can grow your business today. On April 25th, 15-year-old Sadaria Davis was last seen leaving her East Garfield Park neighborhood in Chicago. Her friends and family had not heard from her since. Sadly, on May 11th, Davis' body was found six blocks away from East Garfield Park, according to the Chicago Sun-Times. Little else was known about the teen's death, but reports on social media said Davis was mutilated and some of her organs were missing. Twitter user at KingPow19973 wrote that Davis' fingers were cut off and some of her body parts were removed. There were also reports that Davis was a friend of Kanika Jenkins another Chicago teenager whose body was found in a walk-in hotel freezer at the Crown Plaza Hotel in Rosemont, Illinois in September. Jenkins was 19 years old. A vlogger named Chasing Truth claimed Davis' body was possibly missing organs, which has also been reported on social media. In addition, there were multiple people calling for Davis' story to receive more media attention. Autopsy results were inconclusive, according to WGNTV.com. A police spokesman said there were no indications of how Davis died. As can be the case, sometimes social media is more accurate than police investigations. Regardless, even if these are rumors, there needs to be more transparency in this teenager's death and an aggressive investigation. That combination could result in coverage from every news network and outlet. Please spread the word about this story so her family can get justice. Our thoughts go out to everyone affected by this tragedy. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to share this video and let us know what you think. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Your Black World YouTube channel and visit theblackbusinessschool.com today. I'm Christopher Platt reporting. Until next time, R.I.P. So there you have it, guys. Um, so Dear Davis, as you as the as been told that she's been missing for a while. They found his, found her body mutilated. In, in, in Chicago, and this is the same girl that was a friend of Kanika Jenkins. The, the, remember the Kanika Jenkins that was found in the Crown Plaza Hotel in in uh, in um in Chicago about a, about two years ago. Well, you know it shows that, ladies and gentlemen, that this young lady um th this is they don't this 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 story doesn't have no media coverage as usual. They don't care about a missing black kids at all. We have a lot of situations here in the DC area, but this is a big huge story and the mainstream media is refusing to talk about Sadaria Davis. So, ladies and gentlemen, I want you guys to spread this story, spread the word, um and so the family of Sadaria Davis will find justice for for their for their daughter or their niece and um my thoughts and prayers go to the Davis family. Uh, we, we will do whatever we can to get justice for this young lady. And, you know, we again, we will still going to continue to fight for, to figure out who's responsible and to seek justice. So, again, um, that's all that's all I have to say about this story. And I, I'll talk to you soon. This is Lions Den reporting and I'll see you in the next video. Deuces.